beautiful. Mr. Peña, welcome. An Thank honor you. to have you here together with your uh, students. <laughs> now, you're a world famous flamenco guitarist, um, born in Cordoba, right? Cordoba, that's right. You travel yeah. all around the world, and, and newspapers write about you in superlatives. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and they're, then. They're all wrong. They're all wrong. <laughs> And then Codex Rotterdam can proudly say that they have you on board as their teacher. Well, I'm proud to be there as well. I mean, yeah. it's, it's, it's like we started long ago. It was a pioneering thing. I, I think flamenco is a very wonderful thing mm -hmm. in my life. And I believe so strongly and so much uh, in it that obviously for me it was a natural thing, but it was not done to include it in the curriculum of a proper classical conservatory. Mm. So I was invited, it was a wonderful experience. And I still, I'm proud of it as well, even now because, you know, to be surrounded by young people and uh, people with ambition, but young, because I was young and I was ambitious at, at my, in my time, it's a very nice, uh, it's a very nice uh, reality that mm. I, I am close to them and uh, we work together. It, it's, is life assuring and, and I love it. Yes, <laughs> and because these are students, I think they, they, some of them are Dutch, maybe some of them are coming from other parts of the world. Do you feel that what you know as a, a flamenco guitarist that, that was born and raised with it, that it's, that it's difficult to teach it to, to someone with a totally different background or is it, is it doable? Doable it is, yeah. for sure, but, but difficult it is also because, mm -hmm. because of just what you say, because it is a culture that you uh, transplant and put it elsewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, but there is also the reality of talent in people, and mm -hmm. some people are um, talented, musical. Do you recognize it Absolutely. immediately? Yes, they, they show some promise, and also the passion that they may have mm. in, for the music, which is something I really identify with. Uh, and I don't think uh, necessarily you have to be Spanish, brought up there. It, it's important that you get it firsthand. Mm -hmm. What would you say are the fundamental uh, skills or aspects that you need to master in order to play flamenco? Flamenco comes from a culture mm. of suffering in a way um, because precarious conditions have existed in Spain during the time of gestation of flamenco. Mm. So to recognize it, you have to rub against it. Uh, mm. uh, it's, it's something that is very raw in a way. It's very it's particular, but it's a human thing. And so human beings respond to strong human emotions, and flamenco is full of that. You know, honesty, truth. Uh, you know, I, I, I insist on, on just saying what it is and, mm -hmm. and demanding from them what I need to satisfy those, those, th that knowledge or th that connection with my tradition. We are talking about teachers, you being a teacher to them. Who has been important to you? Well, that's a very good question. Um, I was growing up, you know, as a child in, in the atmosphere in, the, in, in this life. There was one particular guitarist that, that when, when young people wanted, had dreams mm -hmm. of, of doing good, mm -hmm. they would listen to it. That was Nino Ricardo in, in mm -hmm. my time. Um, eventually, uh, there was somebody else uh, that was living in America, uh, therefore we didn't know much about him, but Sabicas uh, yeah. was living there, but he produced just the most wonderful execution of, of everything that we uh, admired mm -hmm. and laughed about flamenco. He was a wonderful. And through, through getting into the, the activity of studying and wanting, to, you know, ambition of being good, you also discovered the, the first guitarist of all, Ramon Montoya, who, mm. who was already from, from much younger years, you know, at the beginning of the century, uh, the 20th century. But he was such a pioneer that left such a legacy that everybody inevitably has to follow whether they know it or not. Because he changed something in flamenco many music. Things, many yeah. things. Uh, eventually, uh, Paco de Lucia, this wonderful guitarist, arrived uh, in the 20th century who really did change dramatically everything else. But 
with the knowledge, with the contact uh, of, of that tradition and the, and, and the wisdom of those teachers mm. from the past. Yeah. Do you feel like the status of flamenco music popularity-wise, how is it compared to, let's say, 20 years ago when you're teaching at Codets? Are there more people coming to study flamenco or is it... Would yes. you, how do you... F yes, yes. Yeah? I mean, yes, it has proliferated. It really has. I mean, the, the awareness of, of this kind of music has been uh, in, in the world long ago, but it was perhaps only only in, in the ears and the, the appreciation of musicians, mm. of other disciplines. But nowadays, is uh, in my lifetime, I've seen it really growing, growing, growing in popularity and wisdom. Ah. Because a lot of people, not only is it popular, but actually a lot of people study it. So flamenco has established itself really deeply. Does it make you proud as someone from Cordoba? Indeed it does, but only because because Flamenco deserves that. Mm. I don't, it's not me. It's, it's that music and that culture that deserves true recognition and love everywhere. Wow, thank you. We're going to listen to you. You're going to play with, um, I believe, two um, people who were students as well as co at Codarts and now teaching. Yes. Yeah? Okay. Yes, yeah. and, and Ruben also studied there. Not, yeah. not, not Flamenco, but he's helped. We uh, know Ruven. Yes, exactly. yes, he uh, know, he can play many genres. Absolutely, yes. but, but also, also he's qualified already. But 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 anyway, they're kind yeah. uh, enough to be here with. To be me. yeah, we're going to listen to you. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure to have you Thank all here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Probably. 